Hi, today we're going to take a look at how to make an assignment, in particular how to create a new assignment without using the assignments that are found in the library. So we're going to start from scratch and create a new assignment. And when I do that, I need to add questions. You'll see that it gives me the option of adding questions from my library, but that's not what I want to do. I want to go ahead over here to create questions to start from scratch. And I'm able to look through all the technology enhanced types of questions that are available on the park test. And I can also go through and look at the other areas that might be useful when I'm creating my questions. But I am going to stick with the park since I'm trying to get my students used to seeing this kind of response. And I am going to click on the pictograph question, which is the one that's up here, and create question. And now you can see I'm able to edit each part of the question. I'm going to start by editing the picture itself within the pictograph. So to do that, I click on the gear, and here's where it says image URL. If you're not getting your image from a website, you can go ahead and click browse, and you'll have some images here that you could choose from that have been uploaded to their image library. Or you could upload your own picture by clicking right here where it says add image. Now you have the option to search Flickr for free photos that um, are available for common Creative Commons, which means anybody can use them. So if I click on dog and I do a search, I can scroll through until I find a picture I might be able to use in my um, pictograph. So if I wanted this one, I could just click add image, click done, and you'll see that my dollars now have turned to dogs. If I didn't want to find something in Flickr, I can upload my own that I have saved to my computer by clicking on Browse, Add Image, and then click on Select Files, which will bring up my drives so that, or, so that I'm able to go ahead and click wherever I need to to get my pictures inserted in. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with the dogs. And you'll see right in here, I'm able to change my labels, change the value or how many dogs would show up. Um, I do want to enable drag for all of them. And here's where I can change my Y and X axis. And once I'm happy with that and I click done, I can go ahead and edit the question right here. And I can go ahead and edit the text right here. So now that I'm talking about dogs, obviously my question needs to be relevant to the image that I chose for my pictograph. So once I have my question in here, how many dogs, click OK, you'll see that change. And I can go ahead and name my questions, however way is working for you, and go ahead and click Save. And once you click Save, that question will show up on this assignment. So I can go ahead and close out, and you'll see that I'm on that initial assignment, and here is question number one, which I just created. So I would continue this process of adding questions and creating the questions, picking the kind that I want, and it will go ahead and be added to my assessment that I'm creating from scratch.